Oh, hello. Welcome to another video. Uh, should be a pretty short video today. I just want to talk about the Miniature of the Month promotion, which I know that you know about, and I thought I knew about, and why it's quite exciting now, and what it could mean for Kill Team next month. So, Games Workshop runs this Miniatures of the Month competition. Um, it's run for a long, long time alongside their coin promotion. So, if you go to Games Workshop, as in a Games Workshop or Warhammer store physically in the real world, and you spend £60 every month, you get a coin, a different coin, you put them in a nice little folder. Fair enough. Understand that. You can also get a free miniature. You don't have to spend £60 to get the free miniature. You just can have the free miniature for turning up on the day before they run out. Until this month, though, it was a particular kit. So, say, Plague Marines, and you get your free, free Plague Marine, but the manager would have to actually cut up the Plague Marine kit, get the little individual guys all separated. Uh, in some... Games Workshops, they would actually build them and undercoat them for you, right? And so, asking for the miniature of the month when you're a kind of veteran gamer, somebody who obviously doesn't... I'm not a new player. I don't need a miniature of the month to paint to get me engaged in the hobby. Um, it was something I felt kind of... You know, we mentioned it a few times at the start of the promotion, and it was always like, oh, I've not actually cut them out yet, da-da-da-da-da. And it's like, well, I don't actually need a random one of these from that kit, right? But this month, as you may have seen on Warcom, it's slightly difficult, slightly different. So I'll read the, the quote that's up um, here. Instead of a model from an existing kit, people who make their way to the local store from Saturday the 13th of August will earn themselves a sweet model taken from the Warcry Heart of Gur box set. Just walk into your nearest Warhammer and ask staff how to claim yours. Then almost every month afterwards, a new model related to that month's big release will be available to collect in the same way. Now, I didn't... The first time I read this, I didn't really understand that they'd changed anything. Um, and it was just going to be a random a random thing. Um, they've changed things. So what you're getting here is you're getting a model from the Heart of Gerd box set. But they've taken those parts and they've actually put them on a, a separate sprue. Right? They've actually taken those parts and they've put them on a separate sprue. Uh, I don't know whether they've used computer-aided design to, to do this or or what, but they've taken the parts and they've put them on a separate sprue for you. So what we can do is we can have a look at our sprue. Um, yeah, it, it's actually a new sprue. Now, why am I making such a big deal out of this? Well, look, look. So they've taken parts from the existing kit. And they've put it on a little promotional sprue. So first of all, this means that your local GW is likely to have loads of these just lying around to give out. But secondly, I went and looked on, on our Warhammer Instructions, which is a great subreddit, by the way, where people just share photographed copies of instructions. And I tracked down, because at first I wondered, is this an entirely new model that you don't get in the Heart of Gur? It's not. It is something that you get in the Heart of Gur, but it is specifically the parts for making Miniature 10 in the the blue configuration here so if you look um in the instruction book we, you, you make the base model so you've got this part this part and this part so that's the main body is this here this is the leg the leg here and the little quiver here and then you only get the parts to make the blue configuration so you get these three parts here one two three you don't get the parts for making the the guy with the longer weapon and the shield i don't play um Rot my creed, I've got no idea what these weapons are called. But my point is, I then started thinking straight away, hang on. What if next month Into the Dark comes out and the miniature of the month is from that set, right? So it's a Navy or a Crute or even a Star Strider or a Gellapox Infected. Now we know they're coming out. All these things are possible. Taken out of its existing sprue and put onto a new sprue on a new die. Like, if you ask me, is Games Workshop going to actually commission promotional... Um, promotional molds for all these individual models. I would said no, but look, they've done it. They've done it. It's absolutely bonkers as a, a financial decision that they've made. It must have cost them a lot to get this separate little, you know, yeah, they've copy and pasted on the digital software the actual parts, but they've had to get a new steel die made just for these promotional little bits. 
Now, I know it's a small sprue, so it'll be like an insert into a bigger dime. That makes it cheaper, but even so. Um, so, if you bought Heart of Gur, I didn't, but I assume you get enough parts to make one version of Miniature 10. So you've got to choose, do I want the blue, the two hand weapons, or do I want hand weapon and shield? Well, maybe you wanted both. And now you've got the option of going to Games Workshop and picking up the extra two hand weapon guy. I can see them. We know. Look, I was reviewing the, the Galadark stuff the other day, and I said, oh, look, people are going to want a fourth um, medium, normal human-sized mutant. What if the miniature of the month next month is a Galapox mutant? It could be, right? They have shown a willingness to re sprue them and put them on a single sprue. That might be everything really wanted, and it saves you having to buy a whole second box of Galapox infected just to get your fourth mutant. It's possible. It could be a navy guy that, you know, previously you would have had to go and get a second box to get that extra guy. It could be it could be something completely bobbins. It could be an extra vanilla trooper that can only be built as a vanilla trooper. But even then, you'd be getting your hands on it, potentially before the release. So I thought, as Kill Team players, we needed to know that. They might come up. Now, someone on my Discord did say to me, as I was kind of getting in, uh, talking about this, maybe it'll be squats in September. But even if that, you know, even if that's the case, we know that squats look like they're going to be getting some kind of white dwarf kill team they look really kill teamy maybe it's worth picking up the extra squat given that they're nice little figures like this on separate little sprues and they're going to make things which yes they're included in the box but they may not include enough to make both versions i thought it was i thought it was interesting so final thoughts you can see i've built my guy up here um you know, built my rock my creed man. I may or may not paint it. I hope people get the um I hope people get joy out of going and getting a free a free model. Um obviously Games Workshop stores are interesting. They are a corporation, but um the managers have a lot of leeway in how their local store is run. My local store's doing a painted composition with these, so if I paint this guy up and bring him back on I think the third of September, I can go into a free painting competition. I mean when all's said and done, and I'm not here to just write a love letter to Games Workshop, but when all's said and done, if you are like me, and I know lots of people that play this, uh, get these games and watch this channel are predominantly gamers, but if you are like me and your main fun is um, building and painting a miniature, a free miniature every month that you can build and paint and put into a competition is pretty cool, actually. That's some a bit of fun bit of Warhammer hobby that's totally free. And in these uh, times where, you know, I don't want to get all gloom and doom, but we're heading into a recession. Ah, personally speaking, we've got a baby on the way. Um, you know, we're not hard up for money. We've got plenty of cash. I've got a decent job. But it's nice, isn't it? I know it's not the kindness of the heart. They do it as you're getting into the shop to get you buying stuff. But it's just nice that you can go and get such a nice little free thing on its own little um, its own little sprue. That's the sprue that I've cut him out of. And... I, I think that's really nice. Um, and also, the, the miniature, which is actually, for my money, probably now nicer than the coin, the miniature's not gated behind the minimum spend. So as far as that, it's, it's going to vary from manager to manager, right? Um, but my, in theory, I think you can probably turn up to the shop, not buy anything, and just say, oh, I'm here for the miniature of the month, and they should pass one over to you. I realise I'm going to get comments because in, in some nations, it's not as simple as just popping into your local Warhammer store. Um, very sort of privileged, I suppose, in the UK that we have, I, th I think at one point I looked it up, but we have as many Warhammer stores and games workshops in the UK as America does. And so, uh, despite the fact that we're like the size of a small American state, you know, so I'm a, what? I wouldn't even say, 20 minutes. In 20 minutes in the car, I can be at my local Warhammer store. I know that's not going to be the case for everybody. I know for a lot of people watching, it's going to be like, well, I'm not going to go all the way to like the next big city over or whatever it is just to go to the warhammer store to get a free model for a game i may or may not play but if you're aware it's something that you can make the decision on right i felt i'd make it a I'd make a video just so people who like i did maybe missed the first time round that warhammer community article had come out and it had um said you know it hadn't actually spelled out if they'd shown you the sprue it would have been a far bigger, it would have been far more impactful, I think, to basically say, look, everybody's going to get a miniature. It's going to be a really nice miniature. It's not going to be just like a thing from a random existing kit that's all been cut out. 
Okay. All right. Hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, hopefully, the video I'm making tomorrow is reacting to the fact that the uh, the, the kill team's just got a Sunday preview. Fingers and toes crossed for that one. But until next time, I hope you have an excellent day, whatever it is that you are doing. Uh, cheerio, folks.